So now you've told your friends that you have leukemia and you're wondering, where are they? They've suddenly stopped calling and they've stopped visiting and you feel like they've abandoned you. Well, not really. There's another side to the story. So hang on, we'll talk about it. Oh yeah, everything's fine. Now friendships can be a complicated thing. Even with two healthy people, they can be a complicated thing. But when you have leukemia and you've given that news to your friend, think about it from their perspective. I mean, they've just found out that their good friend has a potentially terminal disease. What does that mean? I mean, is it possible that they're not being mean or selfish, but they simply don't know what to do or what to say and they feel awkward around us? Well, I think that it's not their responsibility to uh, make contact with us and to continue the friendship. Those of us who have leukemia, it's our responsibility. And I'll tell you why. We are the ones who have the disease. We are the ones that know what's going on inside of our body. Our friends don't. They quite often don't know what to say. And if they do say something, they're worried they'll say the wrong thing. Uh, it's very awkward for them. But if we think back to what is it we did when we made friends? Hmm? We got to know them. We found out we had common ground. We asked them how their day was going. Uh, they talked to us, we talked to them, we built a friendship. Well now I believe it's our responsibility to rebuild that friendship with our friends, to let them know it's okay to talk to you about the cancer or whatever, but we should also talk to them about regular everyday things. Ask them how their day is going, how their life is. Make them know that they do not have to just talk about cancer. It's, it's, cancer is not who you are, that you're still you, you're still their friend. We have to make them feel comfortable. It's our responsibility to do that. And I believe that if we don't do that, it's not them who's being selfish, it's us. We are trying to sit back and expecting the world to maintain a friendship with us. That's not how it works, even with two healthy people. You have to share and, and communicate and be a part of each other's lives. Well, we need to continue that. We need to let them know that they can be comfortable around us, that we're still a regular person. We don't have to talk about the cancer. If they have questions, we'll certainly answer them. We want them to feel comfortable talking about it. But we also want them to know that we're interested in their lives. We're interested in what they do, how their day's gone, how their kids are doing, whatever. We just need to be their friend and they will come back to us. At least that's my thoughts. So leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. And uh, in the meantime, if you'd press that like button, it'll help a lot. It'll help me get the word around. And if you want to subscribe, do that too. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves. And most importantly, if you want to maintain your relationship with your friends, take care of your friends. Let them know that you're a normal person. You may have cancer, but you're still you and you still want to be their friend. Take care. We'll talk next time. Bye. You might have one close friend who's stuck with you, but your social circle is kind of What's this doing here? <laughs> oh dear. Okay.